Hey, Tom J. Stone here with another uh, episode of how to create 4UP publisher prints for uh, small hand bills. Last time we looked at the portrait view, today we're going to look at the landscape view. Similar procedure to what we had done before. We're going to do a few things different this time so we can get the idea again. Uh, we're going to start by setting our guides. <coughs> Today we're going to set our guides first by going to page design and we're going to tell uh, margins, the, the document to say no margins. And then we're going to set our guides using our ruler guides instead of dragging them from the ruler, which we could do. Here we could just drag our guide wherever we want it, say four and a quarter, to make it half here. We could do that. If you don't want a guide, you just pull it off the page. It's gone. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the guides option, go down to ruler guides, and we're going to enter the values for the vertical and the horizontal um, guides. <clears throat> so starting out with our horizontal guides, which means uh, from left to right, we're going to enter, I like quarter inch margins, so I'm going to go 0.25. Now you can't hit enter, you have to hit set. And then our next guide will be, let's go with our, our halfway guide, which would be four and a quarter, 4.25. Now we need a quarter inch, that's going to be our cut line. So we're going to need a quarter inch above that and a quarter inch below that to set our margins for the cut line. So we'll also need one at 4 inches, and we'll need one at 4.5. And then we'll need one at the very bottom of the page, which if this is an 8.5 uh, uh, width page, it's going to be 8 and a quarter, so 8.25. <coughs> so set. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 guides. Now let, we'll come back to these, but let's look what we get when we hit OK. Now we've got a top margin of a quarter inch, a bottom margin of a quarter inch, a cut line, and a quarter inch margin on each side of the cut line. Now let's go back into our guide rules, our ruler guides, excuse me, and we're going to go to the vertical and do the same thing. We're going to go 0.25. That will give us uh, one right here. And we'll go, if this is 11, that's going to be 10.75 inches. 10.75. Okay, now we need a halfway mark, which on 11, that's 5.5, 5 .5, 5.5. And then we're going to need one on either side of that, so 5.25. 5 and 5.75. Sheesh. Okay, uh, is that right? 5.75. Set. Okay. Boom. Now we've got ourselves a quarter inch on the left hand side, a cut line in the center, and a quarter on each side of that, and then a quarter inch on the other side. Now that you're all done with that, if this is something that you want to use again and again, then what you can do is you can just go up to File, Save As, <coughs> and then you can just uh, save it as a template. Now it'll automatically save it into custom office templates. I personally like to save mine in Documents, Microsoft, this is just me, Publisher Templates. Now I've already saved it from previous uh, exercise. But uh, I've got a 4-up landscape and a 4-up portrait. Once you save it, then you can just start your work. If you want to do another one of these, you can just open the template and start fresh each time. Okay, I hope that this was helpful to you. Uh, we'll work on some artwork in the next episode.